I'm crying over this dude that I was recently talking to and things were going really good um, until I disclosed to him that I had herpes. And then things just kind of changed. At first he was really understanding and then a few days passed and then he was just like, basically he didn't want to see me romantically anymore because of it. Um, because he was uneducated and doesn't know much about STDs, which is fine, but I, I deserve somebody that's willing to educate themselves, you know, willing to see me as the person that I am. I'm not, I'm so much more than a person that has herpes. Like, this shit is going to change the rest of my life. And there's nothing I can do. Bros, do you know that here in America, women have double the amount of herpes that men do for various reason, reasons. Uh, but one of the biggest reasons is that a lot of them like getting piped. And a lot of them like it raw. Oh, baby, I like it raw. Yeah, baby, I like it raw. <laughs> and that's right. You could be the next person to get the good old Bumpy Johnson. So what I'm telling you guys out there is, to, of course, protect yourself right here in the good old United States of America with very promiscuous uh, young ladies out there now they'll tell you that you know everybody has herpes it's very common and you're not educated and i say damn that shit because there's herpes then there's herpes and what you need to know is they need to tell you that because if they give you herpes they're gonna go to jail prison that's right because that thing down there is considered a weapon if you give somebody a sexually transmitted disease. So protect yourself. Here's a song about it. You like to hear it? Here it goes. Hey, gang, don't hurt me. It's little old me hurt me. Cooler than your best friend. I'll stay with you to the end. You won't see me every day. But every few years I'll come say, hey, that's right. No cure for me in sight. I won't go without a fight. I'm the herpes, the herpes, C and L mother. <laughs>